to Jesus. Lord Jesus, teach us how to pray because uh, John's disciples taught him, taught them how to pray. So Jesus just gave them a template how, of how to pray. So he said, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation for that is the glory, the power and the honor forever and ever. Amen. Jesus gave them that just as a template of how to pray. So he's saying our father who art in heaven. Jesus never taught us our mother that, that God is our mother. God is... All in all, however, he taught us to say, Our Father who art in heaven. And we need to stick to what the Bible says. Our Father who art in heaven. So that is who our God is. He's our Father. Is our Father who art in heaven. He said, Hallowed be thy name. We must hallow his name minute by minute. Every minute of our life, we must hallow his name. He said, Give us our daily bread. He's not asking for weekly bread. He's not asking for monthly bread. He's not asking for yearly bread. He says, give us our daily bread. So if we go by Jesus' uh, template, the way he, uh, he taught us to pray, we will take a lot of anxieties out of our lives, a lot of panicking. Why are we panicking for tomorrow? Where he's got tomorrow in his hands? He's given us today, he said, give us our daily bread. So once he who can provide for today, he provided yesterday, he provides today, he will surely provide for tomorrow. So he said, give us our daily bread. So don't be too cumbersome. Don't be too worried asking for what he's going to provide in a week, in a month, in a year. He will do that because he's a good father. We are all parents. We give our children the best of everything. We have everything laid up for them. We have insurances, everything covering them. God has much more than that for us. But he says, when you want to ask him, just ask for your daily bread. And if we go by that, then we won't be worrying about what is going to happen tomorrow because he's got the whole world in his hands and tomorrow is going to be good because he said he will never leave us. He'll never forsake us even until the end of ages. And he said, forgive us our sins or our trespasses even as we too forgive others. So we must forgive others from our heart. And that's why we're praying that if there's any area of our life where we have hatred or, or unforgiveness, that God, Holy Spirit should search us and help us to deal with those issues. You need to bring anything that you have repressed. It might be when you were a child, somebody may have said something to you that really, really hurts you. And because you were a child, you, you couldn't fight back then. So you folded it and you, you put it down, 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 down. And once in a while, you bring it out and lament about it and get angry about it and hate the person who did it. No, you don't need all that. You need to forgive. So you need to ask God to help you, to remind you of everything that you have hidden away in your heart and, and give you a release. Because when you release yourself and you release others, you are releasing yourself. You are helping yourself. So uh, forgive because... If you don't forgive, God will find it difficult to forgive you. So we must forgive. Uh, and, and then if we cause offense, we must know how to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. Simple things like that we must learn to. So uh, personally, I've tried not to take offense. So if somebody offends me, I'll call them and, and say, you did this. I don't believe in. I don't pretend. What you see is what you what you see in me is me. So if you offend me, I'll call you and I say you said so 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 or you did so so so. You offended me, and then we talk about it, and then we move on. And and so uh, I I try not to give offense as well because sometimes what you said that somebody else is offended, you may not take it as offense. You you may have been joking, but it may not be a joke to somebody else. So if you have caused offense and the person calls your attention, please. Feel, uh, quickly say I am sorry I didn't mean it that way I didn't it, you are just assuming that that was what I meant that's not what I mean so the Bible says every day we must we must we must everything that we have we must uh, discuss we must settle scores every day we must not go to bed 
angry. We must not go, go to bed so, 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 uh, with bitterness, with hatred of somebody. No, the Bible says, no, you must finish everything before the, the uh, sun sets. So, uh, when we do that, we are only helping ourselves. God is such a loving God that he gave us a template. If only we, we, we follow his principles, we follow his template, our life will be so, so easy. There won't be any anxiety, any depression, any of this, those stuff won't, won't come our way because we are following his principles. Amen. So we thank you, Lord, that you have given us that template that you have taught us how to pray. And, uh, and what is prayer? Prayer is just having a conversation with God. It's just talking to God. It's, it's just uh, our fathers and our mothers, they are so busy. They are rushing about, uh, working so that they can provide for us rightfully. But however, sometimes we can overdo that and not spend time with the children. But the time that you spend with the children are the most, are the best times. They are better than the money you are giving to them. So exactly the same thing with God. You need to settle down and, and have time to communicate with God. Your heart telling him how much you love him, how much he has done for you, how you are so grateful, how without him life is even meaningless. But with him, life is so, so much much more, much, much, much more with God. So that's prayer, conversing with God, talking to God, talking with God. So you 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 praise him, you tell him how he's an awesome God, how you love him so much because he first of all loved you. So it's good to always pray. The Bible says we must pray ceaselessly. So it means in your heart, you are always communing with God. You are always communing with God. You don't let anything take the place of God in your life. Amen. So we are going to do praise and worship now. Father, we say thank you. We just want to enter into your word. Uh, I thought uh, this might be a good one to start. More about Jesus. Let's let's say uh, more about him. We need to. Love who died for 